527 for each pair of standard cell potential and electron stoichiometry values below calculate a corresponding standard free energy change and they want that in kilojoules okay so this is the only two pieces of information that they gave us now they're telling us that the standard cell potential is 0 0.000 volts i know that this is the standard cell potential because a potential is always going to be linked to volts. Specifically, this is your E cell. Whenever you see an E cell, that's always your cell potential. And since we're dealing with standard cell potentials, that means that we're gonna be using an E notch cell. Now this N equal two, just know that generally speaking, when you see Ns, you think of moles, right? especially when we see, you know, PV equals NRT. The same type of idea here, but if we're using a cell potential, we're talking about oxidation and reduction reactions. So this N value is going to tell us the, the amount of moles of electrons that are being transferred. Are being transferred. So in this instance, whatever reaction this is, there's going to be a total of two electrons that are being transferred uh, from the oxidant, the oxidizing uh, species, to the reductant. All right, so now, what formula links these pieces of information together? I need an E cell, I have an N value, and they want the standard free energy change. Free energy is always that G, right? And it's that change. So we're looking for a delta G. Standard means that I'm throwing in that notch there. Well, I got an E cell, a delta G value. There's only one formula that goes with this, and that is this one. Delta G equals negative NF E cell. We're solving for the free energy change. So that means that I should know the NF and the E cell. Well, we already talked about the two of them. N in this case is going to be two and the E cell is going to be 0, 0.000 volts. Now the F value is Faraday's constant and by what it says, that's a constant number. If you want to know the number, it's always going to be 96,485. The units for Faraday's constant is always coulombs per mole. Now you might say to yourself, well, where does the coulomb come from, right? I, I'm supposed to be so solving for something in kilojoules. Just know that volts is an easier way of just saying that this is joule per coulomb. And if I just substitute out the volts, there is your joule value. So the joule value is hidden in the volts. So now let's just write it out. Delta G, the, the free energy change, is going to be equal to the N the F and the E cell. So we have two electrons being transferred, 96,500. Now I say 96,500 if you wanted to round it, but let's just be more specific, 96,485. And then the E cell value is gonna be zero. Plug it in. I already know that this is going to be zero because anything times zero is itself, but you could always just double check negative two times nine, six, four, eight, five times 0. 0.000. And there you go. Zero. Now just know that when you're using this formula, because the joules is secretly in the volts, this is going to come out in joules. So this is technically zero joules. They wanted kilojoules. That's okay. Just for practice, just know that to go from joules to kilojoules, you just have to divide by a thousand, but zero divided by a thousand is still zero. So zero joules, zero kilojoules, final answer. And let's just box that off and call it a question. All right, what'd you think? Okay, thank you for viewing the video. Hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love chatting with you guys. I hope you're having a great day out there. And keep studying hard. Practice, practice, practice. For these types of subjects, chemistry, physics, math, right? All these big calculated subjects, you know, uh, progress and 
getting better at it comes with just practice. And that's why we are putting out thousands of videos for you guys to just get those concepts down. And I'll be here every step of the way. I hope you all well, and I'll talk to you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.